So do you guys want to hear something interesting? So there is a new documentary out involving Atlantis where they did a LIDAR scan of the Rishot structure and they found something. So I'm going to show you a couple clips of that documentary in just a second, but let me first say that a few months ago I had mentioned that my next video was going to be an update on the Rishot structure theory to Atlantis, as I had come across a few pieces of fascinating information that makes the case that much more compelling. But my gut told me, I'm like, you know what, I don't know if the timing is right. Let me hold off and just play it by ear from each video to the next. And I'm glad I waited because I've come across a few other little details that's going to make the video that much better. Now, just a few days ago, I made a decision. I'm like, okay, let's do the Atlantis video next. And then two days later, I find out about this new documentary. So bear with me. I'm going to use my cell phone to essentially point it at my laptop to show you a few things, and it'll be that much easier. So bear with me. All right, so I'm on nationalgeographic.com, and the name of the show is Atlas of Cursed Places, and the episode is The Curse of Atlantis, Season 1, Episode 2, originally aired in December of 2020, but I never heard anything about it. In fact, it was just a few days ago that it was uploaded onto various streaming platforms, including Disney+, Plus. so now the show is getting some traction and some buzz, and people are discussing it. So let me first share with you someone they interview which is Sarah Parkak. You may recognize her. She's been on th not just one, two, but three TED Talks. She's been on The Late Show, and she was on something else, which I'll share with you in a second. But she's famous for doing her space archaeology. They use LIDAR and satellites, and they're finding all kinds of discoveries all over the world. In fact, you may have even heard me mention uh, in a video about all those Maya ruins they found uh, down in Bolivia. Well, oh, God, they're going to make me do this. See, this is why I don't... Go to hell. But you guys, you guys get what I'm saying here. Um, okay, so let me play the clips for you, and then here we go. Then hundreds and hundreds of features started popping out, if not thousands. In the heart of the Rickot structure are two absolutely massive rectangular structures. So it looked like they have rounded towers at the hmm. end. To me, that was one of the most exciting finds. Hang on a second. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you guys something real quick here. So this is a tweet from Sarah back in December 2020. And she mentions, you know, some wonderful science was done in Mauritania as the result of this show. I should also point out that she is, she doesn't believe Atlantis existed and she gets extremely apprehensive about it. Like, and I'm not picking on her. I'll, you'll understand where I'm coming from in a second. First of all, anyone that says with 100% certainty that Atlantis doesn't, did not exist, it's like, okay, well, um, <laughs> you can't prove that and it's a ridiculous statement. Um, but trust the experts. Um, and I noticed just yesterday she got into a bit of a tiff with, hold on, don't look at that one yet, with Giorgio Tasukalis. I, I feel like I'm saying his name wrong, but you'll of course recognize him, he's the ancient aliens guy. Super nice guy, by the way. And regardless if you like that show or not, I think I could argue that he may have brought the attention of various ancient sites to more people around the world than anyone else because, I mean, this show, Ancient Aliens, is seen in dozens of countries and has tens of millions of regular viewers. And so anyways, I noticed that she was quite mean to him. This is just yesterday. By the way, this, I'm filming this on August 4th, 2022. So she said some things that weren't very nice, um, and she basically went after him. And I've noticed that she's done this to others before. And I just think it's odd when people get so defensive at the concept of Atlantis existing or ancient astronauts or anything else. But that aside, I'm not picking on her. And you'll understand, like I said, in a second where I'm coming from. So here's the thing. Going back to that little clip of this. Wait for it. Structures. Where do I recognize that? Let me just go over to my favorite YouTube channel. And you see this video right here? That video. I already got the tab open. What's this? <laughs> Guys, October 2018, nearly four years ago. Okay, so hang on. Let me show you another little clip. Absolutely no evidence whatsoever until now of any kind of, of built human structures in, in and around the Rickot structure. But I think the story has changed. Wait for it. 
these wait for it. Probably date Those. To... You see these? Let me fin let me let her finish her sentence. Eight thousand to five thousand years ago. Okay. <laughs> let me go back to this same video. What's this? October twenty eighteen, guys. So hang on a second. Like, what's? Uh, <laughs> I have a few thoughts here. Um, so my God, what's? Where's the lidar? They allegedly used lidar at the wrist shot, but. If they did, they did not share any of it in this documentary. All they share are Google Earth satellite images from in and around the wrist shot, which I've been saying for years. Yes, some people say there's no evidence of human civilizations ever being there. And I'm like, well, that's not true. There are actually. Um, they even have arrowheads from 100,000 years ago in the wrist shot, which she actually shares in that documentary. But as far as the time of Plato 12,000 years ago, well, just stay tuned for my next video as uh, it's, <laughs> it's going to surprise some people the things that I share. But I'm like, hang on a second now. What, you know, this documentary, did you, let's be real. Let's go back to Sarah. Hey, Sarah, are you watching Jimmy's videos? Are you, did you, did you happen to see this one? Because again, I shared this four years ago and I'm just kind of wondering what, where is this thing? Where's all the wonderful science in LIDAR that was done at the wrist shot? Because all I'm seeing is some, some Google, satellite images here and by the way you can see i mean her sentiment on atlantis i think this is f funny i mean unlike atlantis the clitoris is real why don't you spend time teaching male readers how to find it she's picking on people um and that's from a few days ago that's actually pretty funny like i have a sense of humor um so let me also say something else here and this isn't to i'm not coming after sarah i think her work is brilliant and i'm sure i'd get along with her wonderfully but if you guys aren't, she did one of her, like I said, three TED Talks, but she also did one with the World Economic Forum. Now, this is five years ago. This is not recent. And it turns out that the World Economic Forum even has their own YouTube channel. Comments turned off. By the way, I never watch videos when the comments are off. It's to me, I'm like, okay, what are you hiding? Um, so I'm not saying she has any real affiliation with them. I mean, she gives, gives a presentation talking about doing archaeology from space. So I'm not like saying she's one of the bad guys. But guys, if you don't know who the World Economic Forum is, or if you haven't heard of the Great Reset, God, this is something you're going to start hearing a lot more of in the near future. And if you haven't heard of it already, my goodness, you should probably get caught up because it's disturbing. So I have to say... So I thought that was pretty funny, but you guys want to hear something else interesting? So that documentary, they edited out my name and YouTube channel name from that documentary. I don't know why. Don't ask me how I know. But I found that to be very interesting. Now, that said, my next video is going to have fascinating details and even if you're somebody that doesn't think atlantis existed or if you think that it did but it's just not at the wrist shot hang that thought um because there are some interesting details that might even make you second guess that but if nothing else guys the wrist shot structure is so bizarre it's still mysterious from a scientific viewpoint there's so many unanswered questions about it and if nothing else it should be one of the natural wonders of the world it should be explored it should be researched for a variety of reasons but all that said, I'm going to go hammer out my video. Give me, I don't have an exact day. Give me about, probably about a week, two at the most. Like, I don't know. It's got to be just right. I want this to be my best video yet. And uh, I want to give it my best shot. So I know it'll be worth the wait. And I appreciate all of you guys' love and support. And if you haven't watched my recent video on the conspiracy involving Iraq and those Lamassu wing bull statues, go watch it. It's getting phenomenal reception. I'm very grateful. And I think that the content itself in it is going to surprise many people. But anyways, that said, my name is Jimmy Corsetti. My channel is called Bright Insight. And stay tuned for that Atlantis video real soon. Take care.